مشاهدينا في كل مكان اهلا بيكم احنا معاكم النهارده هنستكمل حوارنا مع سعاده السفيره انجريد امر سفيره دوله اسيتونيا لدى جمهوريه مصر العربيه في لقاء اليوم هنتحدث عن تاريخ العلاقات ما بين جمهوريه مصر العربيه ودوله اسيتونيا فابقوا معنا وتابعونا I started uh, my diplomatic career in April uh, 1995. Uh, it, was, uh, it was pretty different Estonia then. Then I had my second posting, which was in Helsinki as a consul. Mm -hmm. uh, after three and a bit more years, I returned home. Uh, and, and actually, I got this uh, offer to go to uh, Paris as a uh, deputy ambassador. Uh, it was a difficult moment for me because, uh, you know, no one says no to Paris. We are talking about Estonia, which is small, right? And our foreign service is small. And uh, this was also the time when uh, we did campaigning for the Security Council seat, which uh, keeps actually mostly women, but also uh, men, because mm -hmm. now I, I said not maternal leave, but parental leave. So we also try to engage uh, uh, engage uh, fathers. مشاهدينا في كل مكان احنا معاكم حاليا بنستكمل حوارنا مع سعاده السفيره انجريد امر سفير دوله استونيا لدى جمهوريه مصر العربيه. Your Excellency, one more time, thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Um, in this uh, episode, I would like to talk with your Excellency about the history of the relations between Egypt and Estonia. Can you tell us more about this history of relations and and how did it started, or when exactly? Actually, it's very difficult to say when exactly uh, history between our countries started, but I can say that, yes, uh, some history uh, between Estonia and Egypt started somewhere in the 19th century when we had missionaries, Christian missionaries, actually, who were working here. Uh, we had artists and, uh, uh, and historians who were interested, of course, in Egypt and its uh, long history. So we have part of history like that. Uh, after we became an independent country in uh, 1918, you know, Estonia's first task was to establish embassies in Europe and in our closer neighborhood. So we ran short of establishing an embassy here or consulate in, uh, uh, in Egypt. We had plans actually to do that, mm. but we lost our independence. So we covered Egypt from Athens by our consulate there. We had just honorary consul uh, in Cairo working. Uh, mm. We established our embassy uh, in Cairo in 2010 actually and uh, before that for a couple of years we had a special mission mm. uh, mission to Egypt and uh, there was just one diplomat working. Uh, our embassy in uh, Egypt in Cairo is our first in the Arab world uh, of the two. Uh, we are regional embassy, I'm not only ambassador to Egypt but mm. also ambassador to Jordan, Lebanon, Oman and the Arab League. Uh, so uh, you see, it's a diplomat of a small country talking. Uh, we are Estonia's only embassy on the whole African continent. Mm -hmm. uh, our embassy network is a bit less than uh, 50 embassies in the world. So that's it. So you see how important Egypt for us is. Usually, in, if I had this situation or this answer, I always ask um, his or her uh, uh, excellency, mm -hmm. why did you choose Egypt? Why you, did you choose Egypt to be your headquarter place of uh, diplomatic uh, appearing? Uh, I mentioned that uh, Cairo was Estonia's first embassy in the Arab world. Yes, and, and our East first East. and only on mm -hmm. the whole African continent. Mm -hmm. It is the only place on this continent 
where the two worlds meet. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. That's why you choose Egypt. Yes. Yes, it was, uh, it was a strategic decision. Exactly. Mm. Uh, and of course, uh, I think from, uh, from this part of the world still, uh, uh, Egypt is uh, one of the countries which is most known to Estonians uh, mm -hmm. with uh, more developed relations. Mm -hmm. uh, because of this history that your Excellency already yes. mentioned in the beginning. Yes, actually, and uh, and Egypt has always also been a place where Estonians love to visit. Uh, maybe we will talk a bit also uh, about the tourism ties, but mm. I can tell you that Egypt is the second or one of the two main destinations outside of Schengen area for Estonians to visit. Uh, last year, I even checked the numbers, we had a bit more than 52,000 Estonians visiting Egypt. Can you imagine? We are a country mm -hmm. of 1.3 million, and of those, more than 50,000 every year come here. Uh, Estonians love to come mostly uh, in winter months because you see, we are out in the north mm -hmm. and starting from November. Ah, it gets a bit depressing because mm. we are lacking sun and uh, it's a bit greyish and coldish. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and, and Estonians love to travel and also love sun. You already, Mayor Oksans, you already uh, talked about the tourism now field, yes. although we will have talked about it later. But that makes me ask about uh, your favorite um, tourist destination in Egypt. Which one is it? <laughs> This is a difficult question because, uh, because uh, I've now been here close to two years and I don't feel that I have visited uh, whole Egypt. Uh, during the last two months I, um, uh, I visited St. Catherine's. Mm -hmm. I uh, walked up the uh, Musa mountain. Mm -hmm. This is definitely one of my favorites. It was a bit rough uh, way up. I did not use a camel. But uh, it's, 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 this place is magic. Mm -hmm. Before that, uh, we went also with a couple of friends to Siwa. Oh. So uh, uh, I liked it very much. Uh, to the north, uh, uh, Aswan or Lot? Or uh, not yet. Not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Not yet. Uh, I had one uh, vacation with my, uh, with my daughters in, um, in Guna. Uh, they wanted to go to the Red Sea, mm -hmm. <laughs> so we've been to Sharm, we've, I've been to some places, to Alexandria of course, uh, mm. but there is still a lot to you discover. You've got the coast area, like yes. the, the coast area, yes. but not, not Upper Egypt, not yet. Uh, I've been to Upper Egypt, Minya. Minya and Minya. Yes. Uh -huh. Why Minya? Do because of the industry, because of the trading, oh. why in, in Minya? <laughs> we, we had actually a uh, European ambassador's field trip there. Ah, okay. <laughs> so That's and it was yes, it was a very good opportunity to mm -hmm. go there, and uh, and I uh, I think I said that Estonians love to travel. You know, we are maritime nation, mm -hmm. just like uh, Egypt also is. This is something that connects us, and uh, Estonians are practically everywhere in the world. They say even that uh, I don't know if it uh, if its citation is uh, quotation is good or not, but they say that Hemingway said that in every port of the world you will find uh, some Estonian. Mm -hmm. But I think in a way it's true because. Uh, because uh, we really are everywhere and we love to travel and I also love to travel so I take every opportunity to get out of Cairo. between yes. Egypt and Estonia. I would like to ask about uh, if there is uh, trading in between the two countries and what kind or how much the volume of the trading between the two countries. In which field also? Is it in the field of um, industry, the field of uh, electronic, the field of... Uh, okay. Um, uh, now I'm going to, uh, you know, um, uh, 
tell you something that I love to underline here always. I don't want to talk about numbers when trading. Why? Because, uh, because of the huge discrepancy uh, mm. between the size of our countries. And if we talk of a country uh, which, is more than, which has more than 100 million inhabitants and a country of 1.3 million, mm. yes, we are high-income country and, uh, and everything, and, but uh, we are not on the same continent. We are not on the, uh, you know, in the uh, near neighborhood. So uh, if you look at the trade volumes, Mm. Then they might seem ridiculous, right? So let's talk about uh, uh, the positive side. Yes, there is trade. Uh, uh, we export both services and goods to uh, Egypt. Uh, as regards services, it's mostly ICT services. Mm. As regards goods, then uh, uh, the main articles are actually timber and timber products and machinery. Mm -hmm. And if we look uh, into what Egypt uh, exports to Estonia, then of course uh, a very important part of that is uh, agricultural produce and your mm. fruits and vegetables and this is what we are missing, mm. you understand, yes. and also plastics. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but of course there is, uh, there is more potential that, uh, than we are using. And uh, one of my pri priorities here also is to uh, boost uh, business ties between our countries. I hear that there is a cooperation in the field of uh, digital transforming between Egypt and Estonia. Yes. Is there any aims or um, uh, vision to have investment in this field here in Egypt? Thank you for this question. Actually, uh, uh, a couple of uh, the best uh, Estonian companies working in digital uh, transformation have already their offices here in Cairo and uh, have plans also to deepen the cooperation. Also one of our biggest companies which uh, works in the field of rate hiling started its operation in Cairo in uh, March. So we are doing things and, uh, and we are having very, very good cooperation with the Ministry of Communications and IT. We have exchanged visits. But I might uh, surprise you right now that the biggest investment of Estonians into Egypt is actually into the field of mining and mining gold. Really? Yes. Oh, okay. Can we know about the place you're already mining yet? Uh, not yet, but uh, we, ha we have very good cooperation with the Ministry of uh, Petroleum and Mining. That's great. That's and and it's, uh, it's, of course, cooperation project, but it's our biggest investment here. That's very So cool. far. <laughs> I hope you can achieve something about big and all the Egyptian also they can uh, feel it and see it inshallah in the future in this mining fields that your excellency already mentioned. Yes, Estonia is actually is a mining country. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't talk a lot about it but we have, a, we have an old tradition of mining and mines. If we talk now about uh, the tourism section, mm -hmm. uh, is there any cooperation between the two countries in this field, especially in improving uh, you know, the, the things that we already offer for the tourists uh, and whoever comes to visit Egypt. So what can you tell us about it? Uh, is there uh, anything you want to change or you want us to, um, to have a, a re-look mm -hmm. on it? Uh, thank you, very good question. Uh, uh, I think Egypt is already uh, uh, doing a lot in this because uh, you are trying to diversify the touristic scene in, uh, uh, in Egypt. Uh, I mentioned uh, St. Catharines and Siva where I was, uh, I was recently. And, uh, but if you'd ask uh, any average Estonian on the street, they would probably not know those places. Mm -hmm. so, uh, uh, so I would also encourage Egypt to do more about this because uh, mostly what people know are your uh, Red Sea resorts. Of mm. course Red Sea is fabulous and people who love to dive and snorkel, it's like paradise. 
but you have much more to offer. Uh, for this, uh, I'm glad to say that uh, not very long time ago, we also hosted uh, Dr. Sai Hawass, who gave a lecture in Tallinn and uh, uh, for uh, full halls, uh, lots of questions. So uh, he had also official meetings mm -hmm. as regards tourism. Uh, and uh, Egyptians and Egyptian companies also um, participated in our best known tour fair tourist uh, this year's February mm -hmm. so this is work in progress and I would also uh, promote Estonia as a tourist destination for Egyptians because you know when it gets too hot here Estonia is a very good destination especially summertime we have uh, we have very long uh, white nights uh, mm. this time of the year or in June uh, and uh, and there is uh, there is lot that uh, might uh, be uh, very interesting for for Egyptians because it's very different and we are always attracted to differences, right? Yes, that's right. Uh, I also would like to ask you something about the field of education mm -hmm. because as we mentioned in the first episode, mm -hmm. we talked about. Uh, the high ranking that uh, Estonian education uh, already have. Mm -hmm. So is there any cooperation in the field of education between Egypt and Estonia in order to take your, um, in, let's say, um, uh, experience in this field and how did you achieve the levels that you already reached? Uh, education for me personally as ambassador has been one of priorities. Uh, and, but I worked mostly with uh, universities and last year uh, we had a delegation from uh, Tartu University, which I mentioned before also, uh, coming here. We had meetings with uh, several universities here, AUC and Cairo University, uh, to find uh, ways how to cooperate because we are interested very much in uh, in guest uh, lectures and professors, for example, for Arabic studies or Middle Eastern studies, and there mm -hmm. is something also that we can offer, uh, for example, be it cyber or uh, digital, mm -hmm. which is uh, which is something that we are very good in, because it does not always have to be the same. Mm. Uh, and uh, recently I also had a very good meeting with the Minister of Higher Education here where we discussed uh, possibilities for cooperation and uh, upcoming visits. So yes, we are working on it. Normally the last question uh, I ask about the Egyptian cuisine. Mm -hmm. So uh, you have been here for almost two years now, which means definitely you have been invited on, yeah, let's say, uh, a different kind of Egyptian food um, uh, ceremonies or parties. So can you tell us which one is your favorite and your experience with Egyptian cuisine? I have to say that uh, when I came here uh, to Egypt, I was already familiar with uh, Middle Eastern food, but still the Egyptian food scene surprised me and positively because uh, uh, there is a lot that we don't know. I think the most known of uh, Middle Eastern cuisines is actually Lebanese because we have lots of Lebanese restaurants all over the world and Egypt is not so promoting of uh, their own cuisine. Uh, for me, yes, a good surprise was Ful and Tamiya because I found something that was a bit like falafel but it was different. Uh, maybe I like it even more than falafels. Mm -hmm. uh, what was a complete surprise for me was your soups and uh, molochia. Uh, I have to say it's a bit of a quiet taste, but uh, it seems to me that I have acquired this taste, so I've started to love it. That's one of the, the special dishes here in Egypt, yes, yes molochia and, but, and koshari uh -huh. maybe. Or yes, koshari also, but uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, molochia I started to love uh, after I had homemade molochia. After homemade? Yes. Not the shops one? Uh, yeah, not oh. the shops one. <laughs> so this is a huge difference. We didn't talk about the Estonian cuisine also. Mm -hmm. What's the special things that you always offer in the Estonian uh, table in every house? If you ask any Estonian who is abroad what they miss the most when they are away, it's of course our bread. Uh, 
Mm. You know, every country I think is uh, proud of their bread, and uh, I know Egyptians love your, their bread also. Your Ishbelad is actually fabulous, but uh, our bread is uh, black bread. It's uh, rye bread. It's sourdough but it's a bit sweetish because we make it with uh, malt syrup. Mm. So, and uh, if you'd ask what would be the one dish that uh, describes the most Estonian cuisine, I would say that this is a simple sandwich of Estonian bread, butter, and uh, kilu, which is fermented fish. It's sprat with uh, a Baltic sprat with spices and uh, actually the combination of our black bread, butter, this fermented small fish, a bit of boiled eggs and fresh dill is fabulous. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, to be found nowhere else, not even uh, with our neighbors. There is a bit, something a bit similar uh, Sweden has, you know, fermented fish, but it's, no, it's not the same. <laughs> so. Okay. Thank you so much, Ruxansi, for all the time that you have been giving to us and also for all the information that you shared with us about Estonia. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. It was a pleasure. مشاهدينا في كل مكان وبكده انتهى معاكم لقائنا مع سعادة السفيرة انجريد امر سفيرة دولة استونيا لدى جمهورية مصر العربية بتمنى ان يكون لقائنا كان فيه مجموعة من المعلومات والاخبار وتشوفوا كمان الحلقة وتستمتعوا بيها شكرا لمتابعتكم والى اللقاء Thank you.